happy vlogmas! Today's video I teased a little bit in my Final Facts flip through, but I'm going to be talking today about my next action items list. So this is uh, what I've been using for miscellaneous to-dos for the last month or so. Sorry, the dog is crying, I think because, yeah, because he wants his greenie. He's a silly boy. All right. So this has been what I've been using for like miscellaneous to do's um, instead of adding them to a weekly or a daily. Sometimes I still add them to my dailies, but I keep everything here as sort of a running list and it's categorized and it's been working really well for me. Um, it is full up here. So I'm going to be moving off over to another one um, while I kind of explain what uh, we're doing here. So basically I have these five different columns um, and this insert is of course from Peanuts Planner Co. It is called Categorized List. I don't have the number off the top of my head but if you search for Categorized List it'll show up and it's got these five columns. It actually comes with two versions. There's also one with three columns um, and it's uh, perfect because I basically I categorize these tasks by where I can do them. So it's kind of like a context list. This is all con um, concepts from um, Getting Things Done by David Allen, which I mentioned recently that I was sort of implementing. Um, and so the next action item is the next task that you can do in any given project. Um, so like a project has multiple tasks and an act, the next action item is the very next thing that you're able to do right now. Um, and then a context list, also part of the same system, uh, will sort of tell you what you can do at any given place or time. So if you're making phone calls, you want to make all, put all of your phone calls in one place so that you're like, all right, well, let's make all of these at once. Um, and so basically I have these contextualized as far as like where I am and where I can do my different tasks. Let's see if this actually fits. And oh, okay. And that way I can have one list. These columns is sort of reminiscent of the Alistair method, which I've talked about before. Um, that I don't have to like split everything into different sections like I did my November plan with me video I'm trying to see if it's handy I don't think I still have it um, but I was keeping um, my different contexts in different boxes and then I was afraid to like write anything in them because I was gonna run out of space in a box and I wasn't sure if it was something that really needed doing yet or whatever I'm just looking for something to kind of go along with this something thinner. Uh-huh. If I only owned like one washi tape, I wouldn't be having this dilemma, would I? Hmm. That actually might look interesting. Let's, let's try that. So this washi tape is from uh, AliExpress the, you know, the cheap Chinese stuff market. And I recently got a few washi tapes. Talked about that in, no, yeah, I showed this one in my weekly plan with me. With the penguins. Um, I also use this one as well. So I'm just kind of decorating it because I can. Because it makes me happy. And also I want to to incentivize myself to look at this list as much as possible. Um, so basically, like I said, I've been sort of using it as a running test list, kind of like a, um, a brain dump for action items. Instead of writing it in a brain dump, I'll just go straight here. And it's categorized by the different places that I can get things done. I think I have a piece of this tape that I can use back here. There we go. What do we think? Different, different tape. 
And so I pull it out on any given day and can go like, oh yeah, this is, somebody wants to do that today. Um, I still will write things on my weeklies if they need to get done that week. Um, I can write them there as a task. I can put things on my dailies either from this list or elsewhere. Um, sometimes that, that helps me, you know, if I write down, if I copy things over onto a daily so that they're all in one place. Um, but I've been trying to get into the habit of putting fewer, well, okay, that's weird. It's just like this piece of backing on here. That's new. Uh, I've been trying to get into the habit of putting fewer tasks on my weeklies and then working off of this. For one thing, I'm copying uh, tasks over less, you know, less migration. Um, for another, you don't get that demoralizing feeling at the end of the week, like, oh, I got nothing done. But that's mostly because, like, most of the stuff on your to-do list wasn't super urgent, and so it doesn't matter. Um, and this way I can prioritize things kind of on the fly. Um, so that's working. That's a little bit off. A little bit wonky. All right, but that's fine. So there we go. Pretty-ish. All right, uh, so my categories are planner, things that I can do in my planner, uh, phone, things that I can do on my phone, so like out and about or wherever, um, things that I can do, uh, downtime at work or, you know, break time at work, and then <clears throat> things I can do at home and things I need to do that require leaving the house, running an errand. And so the idea of this, and I didn't implement that until page two here, um, is that if I'm at home, I can work on anything from this column that way um, to kind of split it up that way, if that makes sense. Let me just copy that over real quick here. Yeah, so I've actually been doing pretty good. Um, I Today was my, my day at home and I've been trying to, like I wasn't sure if I wanted to film this video today or not because there's a couple things on here that I wanted to get done first so that I didn't have to migrate them over. Um, but I decided I wanted, to, I needed a new list anyway because we're running out of space on here. And if I didn't get it done yet, huh, it'll just give me something that I can check off when I do do it because who knows if I'm actually going to so I do I really ought to scrub the toilet before bed because I put cleaner in the bowl a few hours ago and I don't want to waste it all uh, right I'm just going to copy everything over here huh. tidy office desk if you guys could see what's just off frame I basically have zoomed everything in to where all you can see is the knot clutter. Yeah, it's a mess in here. Um, let's see. Just do. It's been a busy day. <clears throat> I uh, we filled out all of the paperwork for our daughter's social security and. Um, a uh, birth certificate in the hospital, right? Like, there's a checkbox for, you want a social number? Yes, please. Okay. But then um, it was like, there'll be a delay. So I just kind of put it in the back of my head, like, okay, yeah, never mind. You know, I'll, I won't worry about it because there'll be a delay. Um, and then I didn't, like, really pay attention to how long that delay was going to be. Um, turns out that delay was, like, four weeks. Well, it's, here we are five months later. And uh, we still had not received her card. So I was on the phone all day, all day Friday. I was on hold for two hours on Friday, um, trying to, you know, get this straightened out and figure out what they have and what they don't have. And it turns out after two hours of waiting, it turns out she does have a social security number, but either it wasn't sent or it was sent to the wrong address or it was bounced back or whatever. 
Um, and be uh, wording some of these things. And so I had to go into the office um, to get, a, I guess, a replacement one ordered, which is annoying. Um, yeah, because I had to wait in, t for, in line for two hours at the Social Security office if you've never had to do that. It's a pain. I had to go once before uh, to change my name after I got married. It's just kind of a sad, there's like, there's no music, there's no talking, you know, people are there, a lot of people are there alone, you know, and it's like not fun stuff, so it was just dull. But the baby was fantastic. She was smiling, making friends, starting conversations, um, so we did really, really well. Anyway, that was most of the day, and she's... Man, she took three naps that were all the exact same length today, so I'm starting to wonder if, like, that's a pattern forming? Um, like, maybe she's getting into a routine? I don't know. Maybe I ought to start tracking her sleep again, actually. So, yeah, I'm uh, rewording some of these as I write them, and I might actually recategorize a couple of them as well. For some reason, I'm writing smaller than I had. Maybe because I have this out, I usually leave my inserts in the notebook while I'm writing in them. And it's a little bit tricky with the rings sometimes to do that. I really wanted to find out kind of how many of these tasks I actually had. Um, because when you're crossing them off in, you know, random orders, it's kind of hard to tell how many like what percentage are done and what percentage are not. Okay. Some of these things only mean something to me and that's fine. Okay. Great. So I have also been color coding these categories, kind of uh, hold over from before. Um, I tried this list without the ca the columns before I got this insert. Um, <clears throat> and uh, let me see. I just kind of like the colors; it's a little bit quicker to reference. So Let's see the stuff I have to do at. Oh, I already did this. <laughs> I'm gonna. I already wrote it down. Okay. I already did this just today, and then I didn't cross it off, and I didn't notice as I was writing it down. Uh, let's see. So as you see, most of the things on here end up being uh, end up being stuff at home. Because that's where I spend, like, I don't know, when I'm at home, first of all, I spend less of my life, like, with free time to actually do stuff. Because when I'm at home, I'm taking care of the baby. Um, and so those things kind of tend to accumulate. And also, they're the stuff that's not as fun. Anyway, so that is how that works. Um, I'm just going to keep this in the front here. Very first thing in my notebook. So it's quick and easy to reference. And so I look at my weekly... Um, like as I'm putting my daily together, I've got some things on here from the front list. Um, but basically I 
do anything that's day specific and then see what I can do on here. And the goal is to kind of, you know, keep it down to at least one page, right? Um, and so it looks like, yeah, that combined probably longer than I thought it was. It's hard to tell, like I said, but that's how much stuff I have to do. And I basically will just keep remaking this list and migrating undone tasks whenever it fills up. And that's how that works. So I hope that that helped. If that didn't, um, if that wasn't a very good explanation of my system, then leave your questions below and I will try to clarify anything. But uh, I will see you guys tomorrow for the next video. So subscribe so you don't miss it. And good night. Bye bye. Thank you.